In this video, I'll review some of the top considerations when looking at the captive option. Now, whether or not captives are a fit for your company depends on about five factors. I'll discuss each one, and then you can decide if it makes sense for your situation. Captives are definitely not a fit for every business. The first factor I'd like to talk about is culture. Now, in my opinion, this is the most important. The business, its owners, and management must embrace a safety culture. Without it, you should just stick with traditional insurance carriers and stay away from captives. Leadership must be entrepreneurial and understand they're taking a little risk on themselves. If you're not willing to bet on yourself, then captives are not the right fit. Does your company have the financial stability to establish and maintain the investment? Most captive clients see solid reductions in premium, you know, over the first few years, they still have to keep reserves in place just in case. We call this collateral. And it's part of making sure that you have enough to cover losses over and above what's funded in premium. Now, does your business have the cash flow to handle an assessment of one or two times your current insurance spend? If the answer is no, then you should stick with traditional insurance or look at a high deductible plan before jumping into a captive arrangement. Now, how do you manage your claims and loss experience? Is your loss ratio under 30%? Do you even know what your loss ratio is? You know, if you aren't ready to actively participate in claims, captives are probably not a, the, the right thing for you. When you become a captive owner, you own the insurance company. How well does your traditional insurance company manage claims on your behalf? Could you do a better job if the adjuster was working for you? All good questions for someone considering owning an insurance company. Do you want to fight the IRS daily? Captive owners have to show they're complying with all the regulatory and compliance issues that any other insurance company must adhere to. You have to find a solid captive broker and management team to ensure that your insurance company is on the up and up. If you don't want the brain damage of worrying about your captive, then stick with the traditional carrier. Captives can offer more control and financial stability than the traditional market, but your company has to be ready for it. Captives require expertise to establish and manage. So in closing, captive insurance programs can be a great alternative for the right company and a disaster for the wrong one. You have to carefully look at every factor to determine if it makes sense to move into a captive insurance program.